Hey guys, last week I was back in London teaching Leica workshops for overseas photographers visiting the UK. While I was there, I managed to stop at the Aperture store and they let me test their Leica M10 monochrome. And while I was in the store, I also saw a famous YouTuber. I think my first famous YouTuber that I've met, George from Negative Feedback. So this video is going to be a quick overview, first impressions of the Leica M10 monochrome. I'll do some comparison shots against my Leica SL and then yeah, give you a few other updates. Hi guys, Matt here from MrLeica.com. And last week I had two one day workshops, one for a Mexican photographer visiting and one for a New York photographer. I'll share some photos from those days in future videos, so look out for those and feel free to subscribe if you've not already done so. Well, I was in London and I had a chance to go and see the guys at Aperture. They've always got lots of cameras and lenses to look at if that's the sort of thing you're interested in. They actually had the Leica M10 monochrome in stock, a used camera. And they kindly let me borrow it for an hour so I could show you guys what the camera can do. I was also interested for myself, not so much for the monochrome aspect, but the M10 monochrome is basically the same as the M10 apart from the sensor. So if you're like me, you've got a like M240 and you're looking to upgrade to the next obvious camera, that would be the like M10. So I did use the M10 a couple of years ago and I wanted to refresh myself of whether I'd noticed the difference between the M240 and the M10. First impressions of the like M10 monochrome. I have seen them before, but in terms of making it for this video, it is a stealthy looking camera. It's all black and it has no like a logo and no red dot on the front. So it is very stealthy if you want a street shooter and don't want to have to spend time taping up your red dot. Being the same camera in all respects, apart from the sensor, it does have the same smaller battery of the M10 and the same larger viewfinder of the M10 compared to the M240. I did take the camera out with the risk of a part charged battery and the battery did die on me. So you do get a little bit sport using an M240 with a massive chunky battery that just seems to last forever. The camera did seem faster, sharper, snappier than the Leica M240 in pretty much all regards and maybe slightly smaller, but I didn't really notice that much the weight difference or the size difference and for those of you who don't know it's slightly slimmer and slightly lighter than an m240 the main difference between the m10 monochrome and say a normal m10 is a normal m10 has got a 24 megapixel color cmos sensor whereas the like m10 m has got the 40 megapixel black and white filter so you're only going to get black and white pictures from this camera so when I edited the photos, which you'll see later in the video, they're all edited with my monochrome Mr. Leica presets, which I developed for the Leica Q monochrome, but I can use the same presets for the M10M. In terms of cost, the price of the M10 monochrome, you can pick them up used to around £6,000. Aperture sell new Leicas, used Leicas and non Leica stuff. They also repair cameras. It's new price, £7,200 or around $9,000 if you're in the US. So not the cheapest camera and it will only give you black and white pictures. However, it is very, very good at low light. Some people compare it as closer to the Leica M10R, which is a 40 megapixel sensor. And it's said to give roughly one to two stops better high ISO than the M10R. ISO 6400 on an M10R is supposed to be roughly the same as ISO 25000 on the M10M. So yeah, if you shoot in pitch black and you like black and white images, then the M10M is a, probably the camera for you. If you shoot at ISO say 100 to 800 and you shoot colour as well, you might find that the cheaper older like M240 that I use is more than sufficient. So yes, I was in Aperture just looking at cameras, do, doing, my, doing my thing. And then I looked up and I was like, huh, I recognise that guy from YouTube. And it was George from Negative Feedback. Uh, if you don't know the channel, it's a big channel. I think 270,000, 240,000. I'll put it on the screen subscribers so like a monster channel compared to my little 20,000 channel i watched a lot of his videos in the past he does a lot of film camera reviews but i'd never met him in person so i just kind of felt like a little fanboy it's like oh hi <laughs> he was with someone else I was like excuse me i've seen you on youtube blah 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 and i got chatting to him and he was in the store selling his black paint like m6 he said for any of you fans that have not seen him and wanting to know like if he's still alive he said he is still alive and he has retired from YouTube. He said he did YouTube for six years and he said he was just really lucky with the timing. I'm sure he was being very modest, but he said the timing for him was just really good in terms of his channel just like exploded. Like I saw it like one week he'd have 30,000 next week. He seemed to have like 100,000. It went really quick. I can put a link to his channel down below if you want to check out his stuff. He's a 
kind of a cooler younger generation film shooter and not specific to Leica. The example photos that I'm going to show you for the Leica M10 monochrome are not my usual portraits. Um, I only borrowed the camera briefly for like an hour and then had to rush off to the workshop and I couldn't take the camera with me because as I say I was only popping in unexpected so the photos you'll see are just kind of more street type photos and then I'll show the photos from the two workshops in future videos. Uh, both the guys that flew in from both New York and Mexico were actually patrons so as always a massive thanks to my awesome patrons. Let's now look at some example photos shot with the M10 monochrome. Okay, so the challenge I had, I didn't have any pretty models to photograph, which is my usual way to test lenses. So I basically had to photograph nothing, which is not my strength. So I started off, as you can see here, photographing the outside of the shop and things in the close vicinity, next door, things like that. And then I had roughly an hour to do a quick wander around and try and find anything worth photographing to share with you guys and to also show what the camera lens combo can do. So... These are just things that kind of caught my eye. I like to have some kind of structure in my images where possible. So I think storefronts, mannequins, street art, things like that capture my eye mostly. And then I was trying to not do the same as I normally do. But as you can see here, I was kind of falling into the usual pit traps or pitfalls. Um, all the photos obviously shot with the Leica M10 monochrome and they're all shot with the Leica Sumlux M 50mm f1.4 as spherical probably pretty much all shot wide open at 1.4 and then I just applied my Mr. Leica Leica Q2 monochrome presets because they're monochrome presets so they do the same job whether it's a Q2 monochrome or the M10 monochrome. Um, I quite like this flag how it's catching the light and then this is the furthest part away from the shop and then the battery ran out. So I went back into shop, got a fresh battery and then shot things inside the shop now testing high ISO. So all of these images are shot either ISO 6400 or 12800. I'll be completely honest, I forgot there was more ISO settings than shown on the top of the camera, so I overlooked the up to 50,000 ISO capabilities. Uh, the sticker wall inside the Aptis shop and all these amazing cameras were definitely something easier to photograph rather than being out in the street. I then wanted to test how the SL performed against the M10M in low light, and I happened to see this doorway into like a darkish entrance so I set about shooting first with the SL as you can see here and it really starts to fall apart by 12,800 ISO and then with the M10N, <laughs> M10M it's still a very clean looking image and then I'm going back down the scale now so 6,400 just still shows more contrast um, but the, M the 12,800 is a clean looking shot again here on the SL back in the shop Again, falling apart a bit by 12,800, but it's, it's, it's kind of usable if you, if you have to. Uh, but the M10M is definitely cleaner. They've got some seriously nice cameras in Aperture if you want to look at nice cameras. So overall, M10M definitely gives a clean looking shot at a low light. So the question is, can I recommend the Leica M10 monochrome? Obviously, it's a very, very niche camera. Only gives you black and white. It's reasonably expensive, even in Leica terms, but it is very, very good at low light shooting. So if you love Leica, you love shooting in the dark and you need that very high ISO ability, this is the best camera for that job. If you need color and you can get away with say ISO 6400 or less and you want 40 megapixels, you probably like the Leica M10R. If you're happy with 24 megapixels, you probably love the M10. Talking of the M10, I have done a review of the M10 against the M240 and the Leica CL, and it includes some photos shot with the Leica M10R. If you want to see those model shots and my review of those cameras and how they compare, watch this video next.